talk about chapter three in the WCLT course, order processing. You ever order something on the internet and a few weeks later it just appears at your door? Well, let's think about what happened to that order. You placed an order, perhaps you were on the internet and you picked out some items and you went through your whole little cart there, you figured out the shipping, put your credit card number in there, click, 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 you're done. You get an email thanking you for your order. Well, somebody in a factory somewhere or a warehouse is going to have to pick all of those items that are on your shopping list. So they will have a manifest of some sort and they will have to decide efficiently how to pull all of the items from their inventory and match them with your order sheet and complete the order and ship it. Put it in a box with the label with your name and there's cross-checking back and forth. Uh, is this what you ordered? And what if there is none on the shelf in the spot where your stuff is supposed to be? Things might be back ordered and that will initiate another chain of events. So order processing can be very complex, it can be very simple, but it's still the whole process is someone places an order, they expect it delivered. So the order initiates the process. In a warehouse distribution center, the warehouse management system is tracking every item in the complete inventory, this huge database. Each product is given uh, an SKU, that's a stock keeping unit. Think of uh, a product, a common product, Coca-Cola. You have one can of Coca-Cola, you may have a six pack, you may have a 12 pack, you may have a 24 pack. You may have a pallet. Each one of those units will have its own stock keeping unit, its own SKU number. So when you're at a checkout counter and you have one can of, of a product and the barcode scans it, then you're charged for one. And if you have a six pack, it's a different number. You scan it, boom, it's a six pack. Barcodes are very effective, very helpful. Uh, years ago, it wasn't so fast to get through the checkout line. Now, it's, you, all you hear is beep, 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 beep. The products are moving along. They're described. They're priced. Uh, the, the, your receipt from the grocery store now is quite detailed. And this is all modern technology that we're, we see so commonly every day. Water picking can be the most expensive activity done in a warehouse situation. 60 to 73 percent of the cost associated with uh, shipping can be traced back into water picking. This can be very <clears throat> this will get very complex if the receiving uh, end of the operation has misplaced something uh, in the, its wrong bin and someone later comes looking for a particular SKU number item and it's not where it's supposed to be. Inventory will be a nightmare to control and track and keep a accurate inventory count. Order picker instructions must be simple and clear. Oftentimes you'll have uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, order picking instructions should be clear and exact. The order picker should be able to look at the the order and know what is needed, where to go get it, how many, how often, and where to put it in in his uh, picking bins, whatever he's using to, to uh, collect his pick, pick items. And then there will be more par paperwork and input into the warehouse management software system to 
show that the inventory has been removed from the warehouse into an order in process and ultimately an order shipping out the door. Some things that uh, are helping to make the cost of order picking reduced is what they call batch picking, where an order picker may have two or more bins or baskets that he's pulling material for, and as he makes his way throughout each aisle of the warehouse, and he's filling up his, his orders. He's got a, a mental eye, picture of what he needs and in, in, in the most efficient organized uh, warehousing his he can be routed by uh, some softwares that will have him on the most efficient use of the battery power on this uh, cart that he's actually riding on and was lifting him perhaps uh, up to the shelving where those those items are to be picked some warehouses are quite elaborate, some are quite simple, but they all have to work off, off of warehouse management software. And there's an order that came in and material goes out. It can be much more complicated than that. Another, uh, another part of the puzzle for inventory tracking is uh, identification. Barcodes have uh, really been utilized uh, effectively for identification. There are barcode readers. This, uh, this technology has been proven. It's, it's everywhere in every grocery store, every uh, many, most businesses that, that sell merchandise will have a barcode reader. And this, this technology is, is just wonderful. Another way of identifying is with an RFID tag. The way this works is a little electronic circuit which is just nothing by itself but when you pass through an electromagnetic field uh, perhaps these little posts you walk through at a store uh, will, uh, will activate the little circuit and it'll actually respond to a receiver at a specific frequency and so when you hear the little uh, door alarms going off, what's happened is that RFID tag, which has been used for security purposes, was not deactivated when you went through the checkout, or perhaps someone didn't go through the checkout, and it sets off an alarm at the doorway. And that's how that works. There's also a way to put the uh, information that would go into barcode into a specific tag that may be on a, on a particular pallet. So as the pallet is removed from the truck, it is automatically recorded into the warehouse data management system. Sometimes they're manually. Uh, you'll, you'll see them with a handheld uh, barcode reader. It's the, uh, the laser light which will, shine, will illuminate the barcodes and the reflections. It, it, it can see the reflections and it can decode it and knows the intelligence. The information is is stored right there in the database. And so there are many things that, that are operating to keep a warehouse going smoothly. Many orders are staged. That is, they may come from different order pickers from different areas of a warehouse and assembled in a shipping location for an entire order. If you have a, a, a truckload that is going to go, it would be staged. And where uh, some type of supervisor person would re uh, review all of the items and all of the paperwork and verify that the order is complete and uh, approve loading this into a 18-wheeler and approving the shipment.